Hello guys. Tremolo is the topic of today. Um, I have done my warm up, but it was quite short. It was only 20 minutes or something, and I didn't play any tremolo during it because I wanted to concentrate today uh, into tremolo. So now I will practice tremolo half an hour, 40 minutes. Let's see how long I want to do it. And uh, if you saw my last video, it was the, my daily warm-up routine. Mm, the idea of this video is more or less the same. That I want you to see how I practice tremolo. And if there will be some mistakes or anything, I won't cut them away. Because that's the reality how the days uh, go. Sometimes you do more uh, mistakes, sometimes less. And uh, how you feel and uh, everything affects you into it so <clears throat> anyway now I'm feeling a little bit uh, stuck already I don't feel very flexible or good to practice tremolo but uh, whatever I will do it and uh, sometimes this is the normal situation that uh, you don't feel so comfortable and you still have to practice so this is sometimes reality but anyway now I will start to practice uh, tremolo and hope you enjoy and when you have a cup of coffee during the morning like last time you can watch through this video because this will be long but yeah let's start mm. usually when i start to practice first i want to feel how the tremolo feels overall when i start to play it so this c major is usually the chord i start with And usually always I start with the, uh, the second string because it's much more difficult compared to first one. So it's uh, if I can play the tremolo with the uh, second string, usually the first string is really, really easy. But anyway. Ah, uh, feels... Okay. <laughs> Let's try some accents. So now I put the accent to my into my middle finger. the first mm. it slips when I do the accent better So the point when I'm doing this exercise is that <clears throat> when you play a difficult figure, you can play it slowly and uh, when you put an accent into the certain finger, uh, now I have done it with the middle and with the uh, index finger, it you have to concentrate more and usually when you go through all your fingers, after that it's uh, the figure itself is usually much more easy to play. I've done a video about this accent exercise, but I don't remember the name of it. It's uh, it was maybe how you can boost your practicing 110%, I suppose it was the video, so check it through. <clears throat> mm, yeah, where was I? this really slowly okay 
Okay. And now I'm not playing any melody, I'm just grabbing the C major chord and just improvising with the tremolo. You can do it slowly or faster or whatever. I usually change the speed and uh, I this is the way to warm up the tremolo technique. This, is, this feels a little bit difficult now, but uh, usually it opens when you <coughs> when I do the uh, the, the warm up and now I, and I just keep on going and slowly enough. Ah, by the way, that, this is. This is actually quite good exercise. When it <coughs> you play the tremolo, uh, you mm, play like a, a little melody, and every note you play here, you change the note here like this. Okay, then I change the figure slowly. So, um, so you know the classical tremolo with the four notes. Ah, sorry. Now I play with only two fingers. Thank you. 
index middle index and now I play middle index middle tremolo the sound is terrible i mean non pro players they just try to survive through the figure and they they maybe do not have patience patience to play it slowly enough and concentrate into the sound because the sound is the key and the whole point the spirit the soul of the whole thing that when you play slowly you have time to listen to to the sound I just fixed my nails yesterday and now these are brand new so it's a uh, uh, it's not the challenge but the the, um, the touch is a little bit different a little bit and uh, so I have to get used to that tools that the sound is not it doesn't 
how, how could I say, it doesn't feel exactly my own, but it's something like that. Okay, and now the fifth, I mean the, the flamenco tremolo. Um. starts to feel a little bit more comfortable that it's starting to warm up the control of the fingers and the sound and ah by the way i need metronome That's actually a really good way to exercise with the metronome, <coughs> especially when you play slowly. Mm, now I could check uh, some tremolo melody. <laughs> Thank you. 
actually mm-hmm. habitual as well. Yeah. If I, I don't, I don't know if I remember it 100% correctly, but something like that. play Recordes, Recordes de la Ambra mm, a little bit because I don't remember the whole thing but the first couple of chords I try to play sometimes it's just because it's a, you can play the melody with the second string so it's much more difficult and those chords are beautiful so <laughs> As you may notice, I'm coming down. I I haven't played very fast yet, and uh, I started to play. What was the starting? It was maybe 120 or 10, and then uh, after that, I'm coming down and down. I'm trying. I'm trying to find uh, uh, what's that tempo called? But anyway, there's usually there's one tempo between slow and fast, which is quite tricky and difficult to handle. I don't know if there's any term for that, but uh, you know, there's the middle tempo, which is really, really difficult for certain techniques. Uh, for every technique, I could say. Uh, but the tempo changes, it's not always the same. But now I'm trying to find the most trickiest tempo for me. And it's something here, maybe between 80 and 90 beats per minute. Because w- when you can control that, it's usually, it's uh, in my case, it helps a lot the boost control of the tremolo. Thank you. 
Okay. Hmm. Maybe I should try to play the Nunez tremolo also, but uh, how about that? Mm, taranta. Last tremolo is my melody from my Rondenia. Before that was Nunez. Uh, it's it's always funny when you uh, try to play your own old stuff and you don't remember. It's sometimes it feels quite funny why I can't remember my own melodies. But uh, <laughs> when you have composed them a lot and you have uh, some kind of repertoire, so it's impossible to remember everything, of course. <laughs> but anyway, sometimes it feels a little bit funny. But yeah, this is how I practice tremolo usually. I didn't now. I didn't take new melodies. I'm just I'm just trying to warm up the tremolo and a little bit fix it, and uh, just keep on playing it because uh, after a couple of weeks I have to play a solo concert, so I have to prepare some uh, stuff there. And uh, there's lots of different tremolo melodies, so it's. Uh, it really important to warm it up a little bit. This tremolo is a little bit tricky. I don't know if it's a personal thing, but sometimes I, I usually I feel that if you haven't played tremolo for a while, usually it doesn't happen very often. But because of the COVID, for example, there were no too many concerts. 
especially solo concerts. So mm, you feel a little bit uncertain when you start to practice it again, and uh, it's it's really really fragile techniques. So in my case, for example, when I haven't played it for a while, and I when I start to play it, for example, now when I start to warm up a little bit, it it I really can feel a little bit uncomfortable and. Uh, it doesn't feel sharp and the sound is a little bit unbalanced and uh, you s uh, your fingers slip a little bit more than usually but i uh, i don't take any pressure about it because it, it's reality it's normal life and uh, and uh, it's same with the different songs when if you have played uh, a certain song in the concert f like uh, two three years ago and then you start to play the game it's natural that you can't play it so well compared to time when you were practicing it well and when you were playing it live and so it's same with the these techniques that you should every every day you should warm it warm it up a little bit and keep keep on playing those techniques and that that's that's the reason why i usually when i do the, my daily warm-up routine i try to go through every technique in a way you don't have to play it like a half an hour each technique, but uh, sometimes I concentrate. For example, today I have concentrated in the tremolo, so that's why I wanted to do this video. But hopefully you get something about uh, from this video, and uh, if you have some ideas and uh, stuff like that, please write comments and your ideas down there. And uh, yeah, I won't censor anything from this video, so every mistake doesn't matter. You can see everything. This is how I play. This is. What kind of player I am? I am when I'm practicing. So, keep on practicing and do it well. <laughs>